Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here with six, day six. It's coming close to an end. I had so much fun doing this seven days of yellow theme. Like I really have and I'm sad because it's only one more look and then we're done after tomorrow. But I just want to first off say thank you guys for all who came, support, who liked, who watched, who shared. You guys have been showing me mad love and I just want to say I really am appreciative to every single last one of those who come back and support. Whether it's here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or maybe you do all of them, all above. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are extremely amazing. <sighs> My energy is a little bit down. I think the flu is getting to me again and I'm just like, it's taking a cool minute for my body to recover. And I don't know why it's taking so long though. The only thing I can think of is maybe because I'm pregnant so it's taking me longer to recover. But today it's definitely like hitting me as if it's starting all over again. But trying to stay positive. I got this really cute outfit on. Yes, my outfit's already on. It's a um, yellow jumpsuit, romper that I got from Fashion Nova two weeks ago. And it's cute. So I really wanna keep it simple and classy because I feel like the outfit is already doing so much on its own. So I wanna keep my face and everything pretty much simple because I don't know, it's like a classy, like Sunday brunch style of outfit. I already have my eyes prepped and prime. And then we're gonna go for the Deb palettes for today. I'm going to be using the buff palette and then of course um, color for days palette. I really want to keep it simple with a pop of yellow so I don't want to go overboard with it so I'm going to jump right into this look. So I'm going to start off with the shade called Bleach Knot which is this brown color right here. I think you guys can see it better from a distance right? I don't know. I feel like the glare of this palette kind of makes it hard to see. I don't want to start off with that brown. And I'm just gonna pretty much bring this into my crease area. All right, and then for my lid, I want to go in, I think I'm gonna go in with toffee, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid area. All right, and I wanna put a little bit of some more definition in my crease. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Milani. And I'm just gonna tap this towards the outer part. I really don't want it to be that much deeper. I just wanna get my eye shape a little bit of like definition. So now I'm going to do a nice thick wing line for my liner. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the color palette because we're going to add the yellow like I gotta add some yellow to this. I was gonna keep it simple like this, but I was like, no, where's my yellow? So I'm gonna take a little bit of my glitter primer. And I'm hoping that it gets a little bit tacky right there in the center part of my eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Lemon Drop Eyeshadow, which is the second yellow in the palette. I don't think you guys can see it because I'm so far away from the camera, but this is gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna continue to blend this yellow into this neutral eye that I got going on. And then I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then come right back. I have been experimenting with these looks every single day and especially foundations. So really quick before I, you know what? Let me finish the face because I'm so excited, but 
I tried out these two foundations that I am was never able to do anything with. So this is the lip bar. This is the face, the fast face skin serum foundation, and this is in the shade 505. I like this foundation, but as you guys can clearly see, way too dark, way too dark. And that was my fault because I ordered this online, and it <laughs> it directs me to the wrong, wrong, wrong shade. So. This is like extremely chocolate dark. Like this would be a good contour color. That's how dark it is. But I mixed it with this foundation because I got this in one of my beauty boxes like a couple of months back. And this is by the brand Real Her. And this is the Power Wear Foundation Blue Light Technology Foundation. And y'all know with BoxyCharm, you know, you get sent products. You don't really pick your shade ranges sometimes. And I don't think this was a shade range available for me or either this was the darkest shade and online it looked like it was my shade but it's not so <laughs> I decided I wanted to try this out and I wanted to try this out so I mixed them together and I think I like it I think it looks really good the formula of both of them is really good this right here is super super duper thick though it is thicker thicker thick 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 okay so if you can find either one of these in your correct shade, I think these are both really good foundation. This is more of a lighter coverage, so it's like a serum, like I said, so it's going to be more of a tinted foundation in a sense. And this one is like thicker than a snicker, full coverage. So, anywho, I just had to tell you guys that because I was like, what? Because we're not really going anywhere, so <laughs> let's do it. But anywho, back to the eyes. I'm going to go in with Milani again. And I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line. And then I'm just adding more yellow eyeshadow into my inner because I do want to bring that down a little bit in my um, lower lash line. Just a little bit so I can make it pop a little bit more better. All right, so we're going to now move on to my lips. This thing is, hold on. That was hurting my neck. We're gonna move on to my lips. I'm going in with my uh, NYX pencil. This is in the shade, I don't know, but these are the new NYX Line Loud pencil. These are bomb, okay. I'm gonna line my lips with this brown pencil. And then I'm going to be trying out one of the new Milani lipstick. This is in the shade Sensational number 460. It's the new Milani lipsticks. And oh, look at this brow. Look at this brow. Oh, I totally nipped it. Look at this brow. Beautiful, right? Look at this chocolate brown a chance. I would have liked for it to be a little bit richer, but I think I like this. I really, really, really like this. And to make my lips look more sharp, I always do this when I do like color lips, rather if it's this kind of shade of color lips. I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation and I wanna clean up the outer parts. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, my baby. It matters, okay? <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna move on to my highlighter, and I'm going to end with my Hank and Henry for my highlight. All right, and then for my cheeks, I'm going in with Freshly Squeeze. All right, I'm gonna make everything more locked and loaded. I'm gonna go in with my setting mist spray. If 
feels so good, y'all. Like, y'all don't know how I feel after spraying it. I'm like, oh, I feel so good. Okay, I was gonna leave my lips like this with this brown, but being that this is not the brown that I was looking towards for, I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. I add a little bit of some like nude gloss right in the center, just kind of. I don't know, brings out the back in life. So I just need a little bit of something in the center, so. Because this brown is pretty, but being that this was not my ideal of the brown that I wanted, um, it looked weird on my complexion to me, so. Plus, it could be that I'm just used to like nude combo lips like this, so I don't know. But I like this way better. But the lipstick is still beautiful, nice formula. So I would give Milani that. It's just they had a little bit more rich chocolate herb. I would have been like sold on it by itself. Yeah, this is it. I'm. I'm. Hope. I hope you guys like this look. This look is so simple, but yet it has like a little elegant, sophisticated, fun. You know funness about it and i really really like it because i knew i wanted to do something simple i didn't think i was going to go this light when it came to like the eyeshadows but baby <laughs> i'm glad i went this way and i feel like it's definitely complementing the outfit so i would insert the outfit this is just a jumpsuit a romper i don't know what to call it like certain angles it can give off like it's a dress but it's not so i definitely like the details of the split going down the side of my legs and it's definitely double layered, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like an illusion of shorts underneath this. So the rest of the outfit is kind of see-through, but not in the areas you would think will be see-through. So your butt, private areas definitely cover, cleavage is, well, the boobs is covered. So this was a really cute outfit, and this is by Fashion Nova, and it's really, 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 really cute. This is my first time wearing it. I ordered this last week, I believe and she's cute okay i can't wait to see what she really looked like when this belly is not here <laughs> honestly i feel like when this belly is gone i felt like i should have got a size a little bit smaller because like i said my belly ain't gonna be here forever okay for sure it's not but anywho thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look really quick simple fun look and i hope you guys give it a try why is this piece of hair sticking up girl don't make me <laughs> slick it down but anyway thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and don't forget to come back tomorrow will be the last banger for yellow mellow week okay so make sure you come back tomorrow you guys have a beautiful day good night <laughs> Bye.